Hey, and welcome to Let's Play The Sims 4 Get to Work. I am really excited to bring this Let's Play to life, and I've got all of my um, Sims prepared over here. So I'll basically introduce The Sims to you. So, first of all, we've got Isabel Page. And she is. Well, you know what? What they have in common, at least, is that they're all very ambitious. So Isabel Page, she is a perfectionist, self-assured, ambitious, and business savvy. And she's a young adult. Basically, she is going to be our doctor. So, yeah. I, honestly, I don't really have much to say about her. We'll just see how she develops as time goes by. Then we've got Lily Higgins, who is going to be our scientist. Um, also ambitious, although it's not one of her actual traits, but... I decided that she was, so she is. <laughs> uh, she's clumsy, a loner, a goofball, and domestic. Um, I'll talk about her or their aspirations later, it doesn't really matter that much. I kind of picked them just, just like that, I didn't really think much of it, but yeah, anyway. So something I can say about Lily is that she has a bunch of different types of styles in terms of fashion, and uh... You'll see that as she changes outfits. Then we've got Blake Sterling, who's gonna be our police officer slash detective. And he's a perfectionist, he's mean, a genius, and a quick learner. So, yeah. The only man here is Blake. <laughs> um, and finally, we've got Mira Galaxy, who is pretty much the only one that has some sort of a backstory. So, that's what she looks like. She looks really, really cute. The thing is... She actually... Is an alien. <laughs> Didn't see that coming, did ya? Well, you probably did. But... Yeah, she's an alien, and she actually loves to disguise herself as a human a lot better than... Um than being herself as an alien for the simple reason that her dream has to has always been to come to earth and open up a shop her own baking shop um something i also really wanted to incorporate in the shop that we'll eventually make in the series is cosplay because i'm a nerd and <laughs> or i'm a geek and i i love cosplay stuff so, yeah. So I'll do my best to try to make a cosplay slash bakery type shop. That That's really exciting. So anyway, let's start up the game. So this is the first part. There's not much we can do. Also, this is the the house I created. Um, you, you can see footage of how I created it right now. And it's kind of bad. It's kind of my own little starter home. It's not very good, but um, I did make it myself really quickly, uh, so I hope you still uh, like it. Yeah. So anyway, they're going in. Lily is going in first and she's gonna watch TV with Blake. Great, acquired the comedy skill. Cool. And of course, Isabel is gonna join them. I was just watching TV except for Mira. What are you doing, Mira? Just staying on your own? Oh, she's gonna talk to Lily. Interesting. So I think our characters are gonna get to know each other, because as of right now they're just roommates, and they don't really know each other that well. So we could just let them interact for a while, see how it goes, maybe. Uh, she's talking about an underwear, I'm not sure what that's all about. But what I want to go do a little bit later today is uh, obviously go into the new district that came with Get to Work. I'm sorry my mouse doesn't work well. I, I'll probably have to change it sometime soon, but yeah. What I want Mira to go do maybe... Uh, maybe let's let her chat for like a few more minutes. But I really want her to go bake something. And she could start by baking some breadsticks. Why not? And these three are just gonna stay there. Also, I bought a camera, because this is also a new scale that came with the 
get to work expansion pack <laughs> is the photography skill. So I've got a camera here. I don't know who could take up the photography skill. Maybe Blake should, because he's a dis well, he's gonna be a detective. So, oh, he can only put in his inventory. Okay, well, we'll do that and we'll use it in time. And Mira acquired the baking skill. Let's look at her for a little while. The game is a little slow too. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I need to close some tabs. But um, I will do that for the next part. I'll make it as as smooth as I can. And Blake is being a genius and telling everyone else they're stupid. Of course, I'm sure that's what he'd do. Um, yeah, they seem to be getting along pretty fine. That's that's good. Lily is feeling playful even. Um, now. I wonder if there are anything... I don't think there's anything too special about her being an alien. And whoa. So these are our breadsticks. We could put them over here. And just... Just have everyone eat them there. Even though they're not really hungry. Uh, What else did I want to do? Is there anything else... Like, major? In this game? I'm not sure. I thought you were going to take some breadsticks. Well, she's probably not hungry, so that's okay. At least they're all together. That's what matters. You know what I just remem remembered? I forgot to put lights in this house. Yep, when it gets dark, it's going to get real dark. Well, that's okay. So anyway... Um, I think now would be a good time to start and maybe go to... Oh, they're all playful now. Okay, well, I guess they were having fun. And we're very low on money right now. Oh, and of course, before doing that, we're going to have them take up jobs because, I mean, that's kind of the whole point of the game. So, let's find a job for Isabel. <laughs> and then <laughs> Lily is going to do the same. And then Blake. Hmm. Look at them all finding jobs. <laughs> Mira's just watching them like, what are you doing? So Lily is the first one and she's going to be a scientist. She probably doesn't have really the traits for it. But to be completely honest, I do not care. I just see her as... I don't know, I, I think she could be a scientist. So, should I read that? Calling all brains. Are you the nerdy type who aspires to one day wear a tin foil on your head and decorate your studio with huge bubbly tanks? A scientist who proves they've got the gray matter to change the world, as we know, it can unlock... What? Did I read that right? Well, it can unlock new outfits like the UFO un hunter or objects like a swanky chemistry lab for concocting new in inventions and serums. Sorry, the computer is a little <laughs> far for me to read. <laughs> um, Blake is going to be a detective, so that's that. Do you want to be the type of cop who's never really off-duty? If so, this job's for you, and we've got the rewards to support that unhealthy lifestyle. Unlock outfits like your police uniform to wear as pajamas. Teach your teen a valuable lesson for that C-plus by dressing them in prisoner coveralls and transforming their bedroom into a virtual jail cell that is awful uh complete with prison bar walls and a decorative security camera as a bonus you can keep an eye on them with your very own one-way mirror oh, great that's cool. creepy um isabel isabel you need a job and blake is now a cadet at police station he starts monday at 8 a.m <laughs> and <laughs> Lily is now a lab technician at Future Sims Lab. She starts Monday at 10 a.m. I don't know who will go to work with first. Not sure, honestly, but we'll see. Doctor, who doesn't want to be held responsible for another Sims help and well-being? A doctor who can advance in the medical ranks will find themselves rewarded with objects like a standing surgical light and a full-size skeleton to bring to brighten to the home nursery. To make the deal extra sweet, will you be able, you'll be able to unlock your very own hospital scrubs and patient gowns so you can play doctor at home. Just wanted to check if I read everything about... Yeah, 
I read everything about the scientist. All right. <laughs> Isabel is now a medical intern at T-Post Medical. She starts Monday at 7 a.m. Okay. So, <clears throat> sorry about that. Doctor is the earliest, so we might go there first. For the first day, I mean. I'm gonna put these in the fridge. And we're now gonna travel... If I can... Gorgi, gorgi, gorgi. What? <laughs> gorgi, gorgi, gorgi. <laughs> what was that? Uh, and we're gonna travel with everyone. And we are going to go... To... So, here is the new district, Magnolia Promenade. And it seems it's an extension to Willow Creek. Which I'm not too sure about, but I think it is. So we have an empty lot that we will be able to put a store on later on. And we've got a retail store, well, all, all of these are retail stores. The Roadstead, JF and S Clothiers, and Paddywax Emporium. Let's go to Paddywax Emporium. I don't know why. <laughs> Let's just try to explore as much as we can. And here we are at Paddywax Emporium. The frame rate, Jesus. Okay, um, I promise my game will be smoother next part. <laughs> So, we got a few things that we could potentially buy. Yeah, we can buy items if we click on them. Can we buy the stands? No. That's good. <laughs> can we buy that? No. Alright, so... It's pretty well made so far. You can't just buy anything. And, you know, there are some pretty cool things. Can you buy the candles? Yeah, you can. That's good. But, um... Hmm. I don't know if it's really worth buying anything in here. Because, I mean... It's just, it's just little items that we don't need. And we're broke already. Blake has learned the following trait about curtains. It's mean. Well, you're both mean. That's great. Can get along. Um, Mira is just a loner. She's always alone. And really enough, I think Lily is supposed to be the loner, but... I guess Mira is maybe having a hard time getting adjusted to humans and the way they do things. Just me. Yeah. Once again, sorry about the frame rate. I don't know why it's so low. But we'll have to deal with it. There are so many people here. Look at this. Everyone's buying their stuff. That's really cool. This man seems to want this thing. Uh, should we buy something just for the heck of it? Maybe we should. I kind of want to buy this gnome. It's kind of creepy. Um... Blake, come here and Ooh, and and purchase that. Where is he? <laughs> He's right here. Samba. <laughs> you gonna buy it? <gasps> yep, we bought it. Now there's a little thing that says that it's been bought. Great. So let's take a look at the rest of the place. See, it looks very much like Willow Creek. There's a little park area and I even think there's maybe the ferry somewhere too I'm not sure wow this is pretty yeah it's here look at the ferry I I love that that looks that looks awesome so pretty That is great. <laughs> and I guess technically we could live on the empty lot right here if you wanted to, but yeah. Who knows, maybe we'll make like a giant bakery slash cosplay shop and we'll just live there at the same time. That's a cool bus. There's not much here that interests me and the sales staff hasn't exactly been accommodating. I'll take my business elsewhere. Who the heck is saying that? This girl? Who are you? I don't know you. Sierra Styles? I, I I don't know you. Yeah. Anyway, I guess maybe we could try to try to go there. I think I just went there with Blake though. The roadstead. Okay, so we've got some mannequins here. That's totally not creepy at all. Oh, mannequins! I wonder if someone did like a. A haunted house in The Sims 4. 
they look creepy, the three of them right there. Um, and it added like mannequins and stuff, because that could be that could be awesome. Oh, and you even have like a a place to try your your clothes on. That's really really cool with mirrors and stuff. That's good. Hey, are you? Yeah, it's Sierra Styles, and she's an employee here. <gasps> were you spying on the other shop to get ideas? Probably were. That's why you were complaining. Right. Well, we're only with Blake now because I forgot to bring in the others. Um, and there's this random man playing in trash. And is is it an employee too? Oh yeah, you're totally doing your job, Sean. Totally. <laughs> anyway, what is he gonna do? Oh, chat with Rowan. Okay. Ooh, Rowan Styles. Oh, is this a family shop? Because Sira Styles and Rowan Styles. Oh, <laughs> starting off as mean, huh? Well, I think we're gonna visit the other shops if possible. Is that the one we were at earlier? Our sims are not here anymore though. I don't know where they are. I wonder. And this is all blurry. I don't know why. Has to come with the frame rate issues that I'm having. Um And hang on, we we were here, right? The one place we haven't been there is here. I think. And here we are at this other shop. What's going on here? Someone's dancing. And mannequins and perfume and stuff. Okay then. And there is an upstairs. Um upstairs. Okay, I think Oh no, that's that's okay. Okay. I, I didn't see it. Um there's more mannequins and more perfume. That's about it, really. Well, we're gonna make a shop better than this. A lot better. I can tell you that much. So, um, we could bring them here. Maybe I'll do that. I'll bring Mira here. And I'll just bring everyone here so that, you know, everyone is in the same place. That would be good. And... Are they... here now? Yeah? Yeah! Oh, yeah, they're here. I, <laughs> I didn't see them. Well... I guess... We need to eat something. I don't think there's any restaurant-type place nearby, so... We're probably just gonna have to go home and then eat. And we can buy those candles. That's really cute. You know what? I think I'm gonna do that. I think Lily, even though her picture is not showing right now, is gonna go buy some candles. Yep. You go do that. And she's gonna go on this side of the counter. Yep. Right. So, I think it's already 4 p.m. Why? What did we do that took so long? We're just all gonna go home. Or are we? I don't know. I clicked on it, but as I said, my mouse is kind of messed up. So I don't know if it actually worked. It did. Good. Alright. Let's go home then. Oh, and they're taking this way to go home. Are they taking the boat home? <laughs> probably. That's kind of cool. Well, they're disappearing, but in reality, they're probably taking the boat. And everyone's back. Each one doing their thing. Isabelle is on the computer. Mira is eating. And Blake is just washing his hands. What are you doing on the computer? Playing a game. Of course. So tomorrow, you all have work, and they need to just attend. Oh, she needs to have breakthroughs. Well, we're gonna have to do that. And Mira doesn't have a job. So, let's think about what we could do with Mira. I'm thinking 
we might just have her write little books because I feel like this would be I guess the easy way to do things um that was a very flattering picture uh yeah I guess we could have her write books because you can get money rather easily from that and I don't know I think it, I think it could be great and we have a computer so yeah and I know I spent a lot of money on this TV. I don't know why, I just wanted a good TV. Oh yeah, and Mira has this walk, by the way. She always has this cheerful walk. Um, not sure why. I just thought she was a cheerful sim. Um, now, if my mouse would click on this. Okay, the game is lagging. It's not helping. Let's write a book. And a children's book, because we don't really have much of a choice right now. You need to get off the computer. Go go watch the current channel like like everyone else. Except Br Blake, who's gonna grab a serving of something Mira made. Um, go write a children's book. Well, she was going to the computer anyway. But, yeah, you're not gonna play Blake Block. You're, you're gonna... you're gonna work. Yes. But, um, that, that's, that's good. Whatever. That doesn't need to be too fancy or custom. So, <laughs> I don't think she needs a job for now, because, you know, once we'll build the shop, she'll be pretty busy with it. Um, so yeah, let's just have her write a bunch of books, we'll have a bunch of royalties, she'll be a very good writer, and, um, everything will be awesome. And they're just, like, all... Watching TV. <laughs> yeah, Lily and Blake have a weird relationship, and Isabel just doesn't care. She's just watching TV. Okay. Well, that's good to see. To see their relationship slowly unfold. So once again, it was the first part. Not much happened, and I know their rooms are are just pitiful. They're terrible. There's like nothing in them. <laughs> Um, and they don't even have curtains in most rooms, but we'll work on that eventually. Um, so I think I'm going to end this part here. In the next part, we'll go to work with Isabel. The frame rate will be better. <laughs> oh, she's flirty. Oh, look at her face when she's flirty. It's so cute. <laughs> and, ooh, Blake is also flirty. Wow. Lily doesn't care. She's just fine. Same for Mira. Well, in the next part, we'll see the doctor career for the first time. I'm really excited. And I guess that's pretty much all we'll do, really, because, I mean, this expansion pack is about work. Of course, we'll try to have relationships as time goes by, and, you know, we'll work with Mira, we'll work on a shop. Um, but yeah, and I might actually work on the shop like while well maybe while the let's play is going like I'm not just suddenly gonna make one shop and we're gonna use it it's more gonna be like let's slowly build a shop I think that could be interesting so anyway I'm gonna go now I hope you enjoyed this first part even though it, it probably wasn't the best thing ever <laughs> and uh, I'll see you in the next one that should be hopefully a bit more exciting so see you then James Dab Dolphin. Bye. Turinga. Oh.